hello everyone in this video you are going to know about the value how to find the value of root 5 up to three decimal places this is for class 9 of cbsc board as well as telangana state board let us move to the topic so have we have root 5 and we need to find the value of root 5 up to three decimal places why up to three decimal places means we consider root 5 as irrational why because the expansion of the value of root 5 will be a non-terminating non-recurring decimal number that is the reason we call root 5 we consider root 5 as a, an irrational number so if we want to find the exact value we cannot find why because it is a non-terminating non-recurring decimal number it goes on and it won't repeat also so that is the reason we restrict up to some decimal places here we can take up to three decimal places so how to find this value means you need to take five as it is you need to take five as it is and keep the dot means decimal point and if you want to find up to three decimal places we need to keep three pairs of zeros means six zeros we need to keep so three pairs of zeros zero zero double zeros we need to take three times okay i am coming to next procedure you need to draw a vertical line that means why we do a normal division that is that we need to use here and take here as divisor you take this total as dividend and write the quotient uh, at the top of this one otherwise you can write it right okay now the most important topic here is uh, you need to concentrate about the first digit before the decimal point what we have five so you need to take a number which is less than five and it should be a perfect square you need to take a perfect square number which is less than 5 and nearest to less than 5. So we have 4 is a, a perfect square which is nearest and less than 5. So 4 is a perfect square. You need to take this 4. How can we write this 4? 2 twos, 2 into 2. So you write uh, 2 here. Take 2 as dividend, divisor and quotient 2. 2 twos. The answer is 4. Okay. Whenever you do this procedure, you need to take a horizontal line and what we do in the division, subtraction we do. So, you do subtraction 5 minus 4, the remainder is 1. Then after, we have decimal point in the dividend. That is the reason we need to keep decimal point after this digit 2 in the quotient. And next procedure, we need to take two zeros at a time. We need to take the two zeros at a time. This is one thing you need to understand. And uh, you need to add uh, one digit, which is uh, last digit of last digit of quotient. What is the last digit? Two. Previous digit. Previous digit is two. So that digit should be added to this divisor. We get two plus two. Add. 4 and you need to leave the space one one digit place here so leave one digit place and now the next procedure should be done in this manner 4 dash into dash should be a number which is less than 100 nearest to less than 100 while we do division we use the procedure that you need to use here so if you take one here you all you need to take here one only so 41 into 1 you need to multiply so 41 which is more uh, we have chances to get in next so you take 2 and again here also 2 42 to 84 okay which is also less than 100 let us take the next number 43 in the place of dash we are changing the number and if you keep 3 here and you need to keep same number in the quotient also so 3 and 3 what we get 3 3 is 9 and 3 2 4 is 12 so 129 which is uh, more than 100 that is the reason we take only 84 so for 42 twos so here 2 and here also 2 42 twos 84 okay then after we do the subtraction we do the subtraction so 100 minus 84 so 100 minus 84 we get 10 minus 4 6 and here 9 minus 8 1 okay now 16 is the remainder then after we do 
take two zeros at a time. So it becomes 1600. It becomes 1600. Next. So here I said the previous digit of the quotient. What is the previous digit? Uh, 2. So that you need to add to this 42. We get this addition as 44. We get this addition as 44. And then you need to leave one once digit as dash. Okay. Once digit you keep as dash. Now you multiply this. This became 440 something. 41. It may be 42. It may be. Now let us check out for the number. Which is less than 16 and 1600. So if 400 and something. So uh, you just calculate in the mind. 1600 means it won't come in one table. 441 once. 441 only. So it won't come in 1 and 2 and 3 also. You can check out for the 4 and you check out for the 3. 443 into 3 only you need to take. So here 3 and here also 3. Let us check the value of 3. We get 3 3 is 9. 3 4 is 12. And 3 4 is 12 plus 1 13. Which is less than 1600 and nearest to 1600. Okay. Let us move to the next one. Why? Because we don't uh, know about whether the next one is... Uh, uh, above 1600 or not. So let us check out 4416, 4416 plus 117, 4416 plus 117, which is more than 1600. So 1776 is more than 1600. That is the reason we don't take this number. So what we are required one threes. So if you take three, it is getting less than 1600. So three here and here also three. So in the quotient digit and the divisor digit should be same. Now what is the value of this one? 1329. Okay. And coming to the next procedure, we need to do the subtraction. Do subtraction, we get uh, here 10 minus 9, 1. And here we get uh, 9 minus 2, 7. And here we get 5 minus 3, 2. 2, 7. 271 and if you take double zeros at a time we get 27,100 as remainder. Coming to this next procedure we need to add uh, the previous digit that is 3 to the 443. If we add this 3 to this 443 we get 446. 446 and we need to keep one digit place here. So, one digit place and here also one digit should come. Let us check out. Here 4000 into it is 27. So, it won't come in one table, two table. Uh, let us check out for the uh, five table. It is like four fives, uh, four fives, 4000 into five means approximately 20 above, 20,000 above we will get. That is the reason we are not che checking for one, two, three, four. So, this is for this last step 4,464 uh, four we can check into 4 again same number so 4, 4, 16, 4, 6, 24 plus 1, 25 okay and uh, 4, 4, 16 plus 2, 18 and 4, 4, 16 again 18 17,000 so you got uh, 17,856 but you can check out for 5 also 5 into 5 4,465 into 5 5, five is uh, 25 here 5 to remainder 6, 5, five 6 and plus 2 32 5, four, 20 plus 3 23 5, 4, 20 plus 2, 22. 22,325 we got. And it is also less than 27,000. Let us check out the next number. 66 into 6. Okay. 4,466 into 6. 6, 6, 36. 6, 6, 36 plus 3, 39. 6, 4, 24 plus 3, 27. 6, 4, 24 plus 2, 26. So it is uh, it is always near to it is very near to twenty seven thousand and if you take next number uh, again it will, it will goes on more than twenty seven thousand that is the reason we can take this digit six so four thousand four hundred sixty six into six we get twenty six thousand seven hundred ninety six okay and the remainder you got as uh, four hundred it is nine four hundred and 
4 is the remainder. So, we, if you check out the quotient, if you check out the quotient, we have 2.236. So, we need up to three decimal places. So, this is the procedure to do and we can uh, stop this procedure. And if you want to find the next digit, you need to add six here and you need to take double zeros here and do on uh, this procedure up to how many decimal places we have, that many steps we include. So, this is the procedure of doing root 5, the root 5 value of uh, root 5 value up to 3 decimal numbers is 2.236 this is up to 3 decimal places it is approximately why because it is not a terminating decimal number hope you have understood thank you